my friends, welcome to today's video. We're gonna tackle the Great Sage strategy. Now, this is very tricky since my lineup is really good and I'll have to replace one of my heroes. We're gonna try with uh, getting rid of Storm Rider for Great Sage and see how that works out. Hopefully uh, it works out. If it doesn't, then but it's a fail. But pretty much a lot of players are using this strategy. It's super, super good. But the main issue is you gotta actually figure it out and uh, make it work, honestly, since uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Right there. Okay, he's got the bow on, and let's grab that. Pretty sure it's gonna remove it from my, yeah. Alright, we're gonna have to drop a hero here for right now. What should I drop? Drop Wolf for right now until we can bring back Storm for defense. That's the thing that a lot of people don't know is you you can't really uh, put your hero into the defense and then put it into Bastion or the your setup. It would just it won't work like that. Let's go ahead and grab some Agent. I right, just go grab some Allied Winds. Oh no, I didn't I didn't finish it off. Let's grab that. If you're wondering for exchange points, I'm currently at 338. I'm gonna grab the Agent Spirits. The mementos and the exp when that gets done all right let's try it on a lower tier and then we'll move up to a higher tier what, what does this guy got um, all right yeah we can we can try it on him since there's no enchantress all right let's see how i can uh, master this all right, we're, we'll go with uh, exactly where Rini's at let's drop that Wait a couple of seconds until the storm. Sh uh, you know what? It's already, it's already there. Should be able to. I did. I think I did mess up storms, not storms. Uh, Pan's divine, but I that shouldn't matter at all since I got rid of rainy right away. It's a great strategy because it ma like you you can take out the whole entire lineup right away, just like what I did right now. There's really no one left. Only actually, yeah, that's it. Airlead was left, but that that was it. Airlead is gone as well. It's a super good strategy. But the main issue I I deal with is uh, for like higher tier players, it's it's a little harder to actually like do it perfectly. Sometimes I mess up and it, it it's so annoying because you have to actually time this really well. If you don't time this really well, it, it just won't work out. And if they have Enchantress, uh, well then you have to wait until Enchantress, uh, or if you can time it perfectly, like drop Great Sage right away, then drop the, um, you activate the skill, then the Divine, or I see a lot of people activate the Divine first and the skill, and then they do the skill, uh, the Divine again, and then the skill should be ready and perfect, uh, perfectly going. There's a lot of ways that uh, I've seen people do it, but that's the big one is they just drop Great Sage and put it in right away. I know many of you guys have been asking me to do the Great Sage strategy. I, don't know, I just got used to the Enchantress, the Storm Rider, the Pen strategy. That's what I've gotten used to most times, but this guy was out right away, even with the buff. So we're going to go try it on the big boy now, which is uh, Will. I could take out Spot, but... I want to try it on Will so far. I want to see what Will... Okay, Will, Will does have Enchantress. We will try it right away on Enchantress. Where's his... Oh, he doesn't have Rainy. So Rainy's in Bastion. Okay, so we're going to have to drop it from top there. and Hopefully everything works out. Let's, let's try that. And uh, hopefully this works out. If it doesn't, you know, it's all good. We're going to win no matter what against these guys. Because there's no way they can catch up. All right, Will. Let's tackle you. I'm ready for this. Let's drop Bastion. And wait a couple of seconds. Uh, we'll wait until Storm drops in as well. Storm is in. Drop that. Let's go there. Let's go there. Do we that? Oh, no, no, no. I see. I messed that up. Yeah, I messed it up. See? I haven't gotten used to it. So it, it's, it, it actually gets messed up by me. Uh, I activated it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I put everything like mess. I literally messed up everything. Just just a heads up. Honestly, I messed up everything. I even activated uh, Pen's Divine twice. <laughs> I forgot. I legit forgot about everything. 
Oh, that's terrible. That is absolutely... It's a, it's a work in progress, honestly. Like I said, sometimes I, I go too fast with divines. I just... Uh, just I go too fast. That's a, it's a definitely a loss. We'll try that again one more time, see if it works out. You have to be very patient, especially with uh, Great Sage. Since you have to wait until that divine actually finishes, then you can put in your... Um, what's it called? You can activate Rini's divine again. Try that one more time. See if I can get it perfect this time. Drop that right there. All right, I gotta wait a couple of seconds, okay? I gotta wait a couple of seconds. Not right away, wait a couple of seconds and I should be able to get this. Drop all the heroes, drop that. Drop that, drop that. Grab that. Activate that again and uh, should, oh no, see, even Enchantress is still activated. It, uh, dang, that is impressive. Yeah, Jeff is still activated. No, it's like I said, it's tricky for me. It, it sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. It's super, super tricky. But it looks like Enchantress's divine is backed off right now, so should be able to finish the rest of them off without Pen actually activating the divine. Did, was Pen in reserve that time, or was Pen in, um, or did Storm summon Pen? Very weird. I don't see. I don't see no Pen. Hmm. Yeah, it's super weird. Again, the boss is so annoying. Can't do much about that. Literally, boss is the only one standing. Most HP in the game, boss. Nice, right? Look at this. Look how many times. Look, look how look how much of my heroes are attacking, boss. And he still won't go. There we go, finally. But yeah, it's very tricky since if the enemy has a high level enchantress, it it might not work as like like as like highly expected of you to actually work. That doesn't even make any sense, honestly. It won't work as, as effective as you actually want it to work. It's tricky. It's tricky because I have to actually learn more about this and. Cause it start like take for instance, Storm Rider is my strongest hero right now, and if I I can't replace it with Zyphans, and Zyphans is my heavy hitter, I can't replace it with Enchantress since Enchantress is my healer, and I definitely can't replace Pen since Pen blocks uh, and slows them down, and I definitely can't replace Rainy since I need Rainy to bring back the Divine bag of Great Sage. So I'm in a problem where it, it gets tricky to a point. Okay, so is is, is Pen in that? Any chance? No. So he did summon Pen. Yeah, he did summon Pen, or was Pen already in the team? Hmm. That's weird. And there's only 22 seconds left. How much I can actually? Can I get some more? No. I'm gonna go out right away. Yeah. To end the battle. No. No. So he did summon Pen. So, I don't know. Pen was already in the lineup. Okay. I'm just. I'm not, I'm not even saying anything. So yeah, I'm in a situation where it's just very tricky. It's super tricky. That's why I don't honestly use the Great Sage strategy for that reason alone, because I, it doesn't really work well with my team. Put that back. It's super good, as you saw in the beginning. Like For certain players, it's super effective. But this just with my main lineup, it's still like super effective as well with my main lineup. But it works very well like, like against lower tier. But for higher tier, it has to be the Great Sage has to be like a super super good level for it to actually you know do a lot of damage. Put that back on there. Yeah, my bastion for attacking is uh, Wolf, Ironclad, Dijin, and uh, Toxic. That's what I throw down. But let me know, because I know most of you guys do rock that strategy. Does it work for higher tier players? Cause, or do you have troubles as well? I know Amr uses it for higher tier attacks. His Great Sage is a lot higher than mine with higher glyphs. And he does a lot of damage with that. Or I'm just messing this up. You know, just let me know if I actually messed it up or not. But now that being said, I hope you did enjoy this little gameplay of great sage strategy my name is Komar thanks for joining in 
If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and like the video. And I will see you guys, uh, ladies, in the next video. Remember, Wednesday is the live stream where I will be live streaming me spending uh, 80,000, uh, I think it's 81,000 jewels right now. We're going to grab an equipment from Secret Vault, definitely. And uh, it's pretty much going to be all on alchemy. That's this Wednesday. So drop in and uh, say hi, say hello, because you'll be in the stream as well. Your comment will be there. Let's just grab all this. I don't need. Actually, you'll leave one of them. Uh, let's take that. Let's take that. That should be it. What do we get? 3,800. 3,900. Come on. Times two. No, no times two. Nice. 37,000. That should be enough for 2,000 of uh, mithril bags. And uh, this is currently, I'm at uh, 39. Yeah, with that being said, thanks so much for joining in. Uh, my name is Komar, take care and remember to hit that subscribe button and like the video.